What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're sitting in a 1986 Pontiac Trans Am. But keep in mind, this is not the same Trans Am from before. But anyways, before the updates, I uh, do want to let you guys know the red one, the red Trans Am from the previous video is at the shop right now getting a serum box installed. And after that, it's going to go to the paint shop. It's going to get a brand new paint job. It's going to get a brand new decals, vinyls, and the cars are going to look amazing. So with that being said, let me show you my new purchase. All right, guys, are you guys ready? I don't think you guys are ready. But anyways, here it goes. So here is another 1986 Pontiac Trans Am. I'm gonna walk around it first and I'm gonna tell you all about it. What do you guys think of this color combination, the blue with the silver? Let me know in the comments. So, <clears throat> that's a brief walk around. All right guys, so I do want to tell you, tell you, so I found this car online. It is a 1986 Trans Am, pretty much similar as the one I have now. However, it does not have the, um, the WS6 package, meaning no rear disc brakes and little other things that are not on this car. That being said, this car has been sitting since 1995. Look at that guys. So it's been parked in storage, and it's a one owner vehicle, one owner car. It has 87,000 miles, so it's very, very low miles. And here it is, clean body, no rust. The underbody is the same, no rust underneath. And uh, I mean, the worst part on this car is a little dent on the fender, which is this guy right here. I don't know if you guys can tell in the video, but the good thing is that's fixable or replaceable, so it doesn't matter. The front, it's got the little bird on the front. All the lights work, the trunk works, the uh, power windows work, pretty much everything works. The T-tops, they're in really good condition, so it is a T-top car. Uh, no leaks, I've driven this car in the rain already, and it is good, good to go. The wing in the back needs some work, but it's not bad, not in bad condition at all. The paint, the paint is really not that bad. Um, so I haven't decided if I want to do a paint job on this car yet um, Or if I can just have somebody do a really good job Now for the bad stuff Well, I wouldn't even really call it bad stuff, but the, the parts that are missing For example, the little bird that goes here is missing Also, I don't know if you guys noticed from before the uh, the windshield It is cracked So it does need a new windshield You can see the the line the rear view mirror this right here is missing however it is in the trunk and uh that's pretty much it i mean the radio works all the gauges work the lights work let's fire it up oh by the way every single trans am actually every single old car that's always an issue but luckily it's an easy fix goes car is running look at that guys 87,000 miles original miles verified clean Carfax one owner everybody always asks on these cars if the, if the lights work I'm gonna show you right now look ready and boom all right let's go check it out from the outside Look at that. And my phone's ringing. You guys hear that exhaust? You guys wanna see who's calling me? Actually, the phone's not ringing, but let's see who called me real quick. All right, just a buddy of mine. All right, I'm now gonna show you the trunk just like I did for the other car. Uh, 
this is a heavy trunk and the uh the little guys here they don't work but here is that piece coming out and it works all right let's close this There you go guys, you see it working. Now we're gonna pop the hood. These guys are heavy, so bear with me. And here it is. So as you can tell, this is a different V8 than the one that's on the uh, the other car. This is a carburetor engine, um, but it still runs really smooth, really nice. Uh, my guys checked out this car already. Did a few things, did a tune-up, got it going right, and the car runs really, really good. So there it is, guys. All right, let's close this. And we'll do one more final walk around, and that's pretty much it. What do you guys think of this one versus the red one? Same year, same um, same style car, except for this one doesn't have, like I said, the rear brakes, uh, rear disc brakes. Um, different colors, of course. You know, the blue with the silver. The other one's the uh, red with the with the gold. Different wheels, of course. These are the uh, regular standard Trans Am wheels. And then also, let me show you the seats. Needs a passenger seat. A little dirty carpet, but no problem. Here's the back seat. The uh, The story with this car is it was parked since 1995. And now I have it. T-tops open up really well. Um, no rust under the T-tops. Or, you know what I mean, no, no rust in that section. But, yep, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this one yet. But we'll see. I'm going to fix it little by little. Like I said, the windshield, the fender, the sticker in the back, this guy here, the mirror. It's a little things. And there's the T-tops. But, all right, guys. If you have any questions about this car, the red car, and once again, if you guys are local, let me know because uh, it'd be cool to meet up with uh, other Trans Am guys, Firebird guys, Pontiac guys. Um, if you guys don't know, this Sunday, <clears throat> this Sunday, the 25th, I believe it is, the uh, the original kit uh, Knight Rider car is going to be at the Philadelphia Greater Expo Center. Um, it's going to be pretty cool to go see it. So I'll be there. My buddy Mark will be there. And... Uh, who knows, maybe I'll drive this car or the red one. One of the, I'm gonna drive one of these cars. I, I just don't know which one, but uh, I'll be there. If you guys are gonna be there, let me know. Again, uh, I'm trying to think. I don't wanna give you the wrong information, but this Sunday, September 25th, I believe it's from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., one of the screen used Knight Rider kits is gonna be there. All right, if you're gonna be there, comment below, and it, it'll be cool to meet up. Um, all right, guys, I'll see you at the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Next update is going to be a rally video from STPR. And then from there, we'll see what, what's next. All right. I'll see you at the next one. Take care. Fires up like a champ, just like the other one. I'll see you at the next one. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Simply type in John Concha, hit subscribe, and hit the bell.